Hi everyone, welcome to a very special technical episode of uh, the Jedi Knight Let's Play. Uh, it was, I'm mostly doing this because uh, I had a couple questions on how I did some things I did. Uh, and also maybe, I don't know, maybe you guys will, uh, if you don't know any of this, maybe you'll appreciate some of the effort that I took to go into this. So this is the last three parts of Jedi Outcast, and just to show off what I've done. So... Um, just to give you an idea, so I have like in my little bit, I don't think I've ever shown Vegas here. I've always shown in my timeline, uh, like I always have like this thing in my timeline. So I always have like by default, this is, uh, this is the game video, that's the game audio, and that's my audio. So occasionally I'll, I'll mute myself if I was like coughing or something like during this cutscene, I'm pretty sure I was like drinking water or some shit. So you don't get to hear that. I, I like to do that when I, when I'm doing stuff. It basically just kind of mutes out my own audio during the cutscenes. I do this quite frequently, uh, and that's like basically no work on my part. Uh, but the extra, the only reason I like, uh, who gives a shit like normally, but like um, the main reason I'm making this video is to show you the what the cutscenes normally do in this game, and how they would normally appear. Uh, so I guess we'll go to like let's say the ending cutscene. Let's see, we're in Dasan, or is it me and Dasan? No, how about? How about, yeah, right here. So the, the ending cutscene with Kyle. So you can see here, like, okay, Kyle's, like, comes here. He's, like, shaking his head. You know, he goes away. You can kind of see in the in the preview here, it's all fine. Jan comes over. They kiss and all that kind of shit. So, uh, how, now, why is this edited, you ask? So let me just re remove that from the timeline, and I'm going to just put in what, what was actually what I actually recorded. So I actually just kept the same length, and then when the cutscene started... I, uh, I put in my own thing, because this is normally how it would look. It would... Okay, that was my... Uh, let me, let me shut myself up. And, and there you go. So, the little bars appear here. This is how it actually looks in the actual game. And then, look, his head is just completely cut off. It's retarded. And so, like, this is actually one of the best examples. Like, you can't actually tell what the hell he's doing. And, uh, and, like, here, here... Jan and Kyle go for the chance. Oh, head's cut off again. The game has a habit of doing this all the friggin' time. So, you're asking how am I doing this so that I get the um, cutscene without the bars? Uh, well, I'll show you real briefly. Uh, well, not briefly, but it'll take, it'll take a second, obviously. Okay, so, we're going back to... In fact, I'm just going to shut off this stuff in the timeline so that you guys we don't hear any of this anymore. So, let's go, let's go actually just focus completely upon what this second part is, okay? So I'm gonna actually extend it a bit here. Uh, actually, not that's not the one to extend. I'll show you what that one is a little bit later. So, uh, this is actually a completely different session in four by three resolution. And so here I am, I'm just recording the cutscenes, and then I actually have like cheats and, and God mode on, so I basically, oh, I don't know how that happened. Oh, because uh, I had Saber dismembered in Monada, and apparently that didn't count for my, uh, yeah, I, I just had to reload it. You can see me like, uh, Reloading it and then yeah, this is actually the best example. I actually opened up the console Put in God mode and and I, I usually just no clip to the place in the map where the tr cutscene triggers And then there you go I'm just gonna come here to slice his ass up and then uh, and then and then that's and this is when I start Basically I cut it off here and then you, that yeah, that's it. So I basically came back later and recorded in a resolution of uh, Let me actually have a look if I look at the properties of this file uh, it's, it's 1920 by, uh, 1440. So all I really did with that is I took this guy and I, um, I kind of, you can see I kind of cut off, like, it normally would have black borders, by the way. Like if I actually put on the, um, let me put on the other guy here because you'll be able to see the black borders because it's a black background, uh, like right here kind of a thing. So you can see kind of like, um, how it. Normally, well, actually, no, no. Let's look at the cutscene. So you see how it, this one has like a black borders there. So all I did was I zoomed it in to the point of which you wouldn't be able to see it. And actually, I, d I did do it math. I did do it like mathematically, so you don't have to worry about that. Like if I undo it, yeah, it's like all mathematically fine. So the cutscenes are actually meant for like sixteen by ten resolutions. So we we are still cutting off a bit of the top and the bottom, but it's actually not a big deal. And so the last trick is, uh, normally you wouldn't actually see the subtitles, so like you can actually see the subtitles here. And normally you wouldn't see this, if I delete that, that's what that does. Um, so how am I putting in the subtitles? So, I what I do is I copy and paste the exact same 
uh, thing onto my timeline and makes this kind of thing happen. And basically what I've done is I've just kind of repositioned this in a particular way. Uh, I Okay, all I did was I took, I went, I, I go to each kind of clip in my timeline and I go, I have a, a, set, a preset here where it just, it narrowly takes out the um, the subtitles, right? And that's all it does. And like if I, for example, if I put that down here now, this is how it would look. Okay, but then what I did is I positioned it so it's at the bottom where the subtitles normally are. And the last thing I did was I created a chroma key here. And what that does is it removes the black background. So if I remove that, you have the black background. And all I do is I just kind of remove the black background. So that's how, that's how, that's the magic behind uh, Star Wars Jedi Outcast. Basically, it's essentially two recording sessions, one with cheats going to the cutscenes and one is me just playing normally. By the way, I always recorded the cutscenes after, so I never knew what was kind of like I played the game before, but I I've always kind of I, I kind of went back uh, to go record the cutscenes kind of thing, and that's that's the magic behind it, and that's kind of the effort that went into it. So I did this for basically every major cutscene in the game, uh, and yeah, so it's it's ob quite obviously something you cannot do in the actual game, unfortunately, but uh, it's one of those things that's actually really nice. Uh, that, that I'm, I'm actually really proud of with this LP that, um, that you guys got a good kind of viewing experience in my opinion. So it's, it's kind of nice. So this is like one of those rare moments where, yeah, I show you kind of the editing magic that went into this stuff. So, uh, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed and, uh, take care.